Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to change your fan right here, your cooling fan on a Nissan Versa. This model is a 2017, but you can also change it for the 2016. You can change it for the 2017 and down because they um the inside here is set up the same. So you're gonna have a Phillips screw right here. You gotta take that out. 10 millimeters right there. You gotta take off these clips right here. Take off these clips. Take off this 10 millimeter. You can push this off to the side. You gotta take off this 10 millimeter too, and this 10 millimeter, and that clip. All right. And unplug the airbag computer. The airbag impact sensor, I should say. So that's what I'm gonna do. To take up this piece to get access to the fan down there, all right. Just want to get these um, free from um, that right there. And you can see it's already started to come up. So now what you want to do is remove this. This it's a clip. I thought it was a screw, but it's like a clip. So you want to get a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver. Twist this up a little bit. So yeah, I thought it was um, a screw, but it was not. It was just a clip, all right. And that's how that goes. Take up these clips right here. Plug it, um, you want to clip it off from the light itself. Because, let me see if I can show it to you. See this right here? You need to just squeeze this in and take it out from the light, and that will give you enough room to work there, alright? Now you want to um, unplug the the airbag the airbag um, light. So get a flathead screwdriver, push back the yellow piece. Just want to push back the yellow piece like that. And then you can go ahead and squeeze the white piece and bring it back, all right? Squeeze the white piece to take it off. So there you go. You the white the yellow piece in front. You wanna push it back. So I got it back and then I squeeze right here the white piece to take that out, alright? That's that. It's coming loose, so you need to take out this clip right here and take them out. Right there. 
that one up too. Plug the horn over here. Squeeze in here. See, these are the horn switch. You gotta squeeze on um, the wire, the horn plug. You gotta squeeze here and pull on it. All right. Careful, make sure you have something on the positive cable so you don't spark. Or you can just take off it all, all together right there, alright? So down on the fan down here, you're gonna have to remove all those um holes that clip in. Just loose them from the fan assembly itself. So anything on the fan assembly, you wanna get it loose from it itself, alright? So now it's time to remove those 10 millimeter. Let me see if I can put the camera at a spot so you can see. We have one 10 millimeter right here. on the other side over here Let's see if you can see down there so it's down there all right so you just need to remove it all right so um you just want to lift it up a little bit Sure, you clear all the holes that fall in the fan. Also, make sure you unplug the fan switch, the fan plug. So I see what's holding it back here. You have that wire on the um on the fan that's holding it. That's that clip that plugged in right there. So what I'm gonna do is remove that. So yeah, down there, I don't know if you can see it at the bottom of the radiator where the lower radiator holes touch the um touch onto the fan there's a clip there right down there so that's um you gotta unplug it i think it's easier i got this so make it easy to unplug it from here 
but it's probably easier to get it from underneath so now i got it unplugged and i got this switch over on um, that get wire over there and plug too so now it should come up now because since i have everything unplugged from it nothing really touching it this is the fan right here so there was something here that hold the radio the lower radiator hose right here in place so there was a clip here unplug that clip and over here there was another clip that hold the fan assembly together so you want to unplug that fan that clip that not hold the fan assembly that I mean there's a clip right here that hold the wires that goes to the fan all right so you want to um and take out that clip too and remove the, the lines for the transmission cooling line that goes here just just take them out the grooves all right because they kind of snap in the groove a little bit so take them out and you should come out like that and while coming up you want to try and get this side up first all right so that's why you want to take it out at a angle like that. You want to bring up the side on your left, on the left of the car, up, all right? Take it out like that. And it's the same way you're going to put the new one. All right, and the reason why I changed this fan is was because it was making noise. So I changed it. As you can see down here, and that's the clip right there, right there. And that's the clip that um that hold that part, and this the other clip that I was talking about right there. So that's it. So guys, this is the part of the video where you wanna um put both fan assembly together. As you can see you this missing um these two things so you got to take these two stuff and put them over here this hold another hose that run there so you got to take um take out this put it here and um check the rest of the fan make sure everything is is um is the same make sure everything is the same because you don't want to get the different um fan assembly and also right here you want to make sure that your plugs are the same even though they're different color but make sure they are the same which they look to me to be the same so um that's that's good so far is just to transfer this over and this is the reason i don't know if you can hear that this one don't make any noise and this one ain't noise and please go ahead and subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up if I help you all right so you basically you want to get a pliers or something and squeeze right here to pop it out the hole all right let me see if I can demonstrate it on this one right here Squeeze it, pull on it, and it come out. All right, that's it. Put it on the new one over here, and that's it. Now it's time to put back your fan in. Remember, the same way you take it out, it's the same way you put it back in. All right. So you want to check to make sure nothing's gonna stop you from going in. You want to move the fan um, wires out the way. Time to go in with the fan.
right? So at this point, you want to put back everything, clip back everything in on your um, So everything is in. Bring everything back. <coughs> Lock back all your holes. So this is what we have so far. Everything is nicely. Everything look nice in, nicely in, and um, and neat. So what I want to do now is tighten the um, put back the screws for the fan. I like to cut right here. One right here, <coughs> and another one over here. All right, another one over there. So that's good for me. I'm gonna tighten. That. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is. Make sure you line up your radiator. Get a little knob going. Okay, so everything is nicely lined up. Let's now set your ground cable on your 10 millimeter bolt. 10 millimeter.
notice my rubber dropped off, but I'm gonna get it. So this is what they want everything to look like. Catch all your screws and your nut. Well, there's no nuts, so catch all your screws. All right. So now you wanna um put back this piece right here. So you want to put back your arm. Um, your airbag wire. Then <coughs> lock this back in the light right here. All right. Alright guys, that's how you do that right there. That's how you change your fan and a Nissan Versa 2017 and down. To test the operation of the fan, you gotta turn the um the car on and um you can either let the car warm up or you can um turn on the AC. Turn on the AC is the fastest way to go about that. Alright, crank the car up, turn the AC on. Now let's go see if the fan is spinning. And yes, the fan working, no noise. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Help me help you guys. If I help you out, leave a thumbs up. Thank you. See you next time. Alright.